Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you uh, for coming to the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament. If you don't know me, my name is Father J.J. Mech. I'm the rector here. I'm joined by Chris Jaskwick. He's an acolyte, just recently made that in the church, and he's a deacon candidate. We have uh, Dr. Horst Burkholz and uh, Jeremy Bastier, who is our uh, camera person. And so um, I'm glad to see you here in the cathedral because with the uh, weather changes and the electrical, we didn't even know if we would have this. So thank you for coming today. Um, and thank you for all of you who are joining us online. Um, originally, it was supposed to be Deacon Mike Van Dyke, our deacon here, who was going to be celebrating, but he's feeling a little under the weather and he didn't want to expose anyone to any illness. So, um, so we want to pray for him as he carries a you know, mild cross. He's feeling better. And, uh, and then we think about all those people who still don't have power. Um, and what Deacon Mike uh, said uh, as we were going back and forth, we don't have power at the cathedral. And his response was, we always have power. We have the power at the cathedral with Jesus Christ, which is kind of a sweet uh, way to look at that. And I hold this uh, historic cross um, from 1851. This was used in one of our um, other cathedrals that we had here in the archdiocese. And, uh, and, we're and that's what Chris is going to lead us around to uh, the different stations. You're welcome to join him and, and myself as we journey from station to station. And what we will be doing um, is utilizing everyone's way of the cross, which is um, my favorite um, form of the stations of the cross because it helps me enter in more fully and own what it really means for me to carry uh, the cross and to be... Uh, um, one with Christ in a special way. And then immediately following the stations, we're then going to move into um, Eucharistic adoration. Uh, this year, as we focus in on prayer, which is what this is tonight, fasting, uh, almsgiving, and then we're also focusing in on the Eucharist. And this is a year of Eucharistic renewal and how appropriate for us at the cathedral named after the Eucharist and Blessed Sacrament. So as we enter in and we um, uh, sing and we prepare and pray, um, what we do is, is um, we are going to be singing um, verses led by uh, Dr. Burkholz um, with um, the, uh, the Stabat Mater, and the number is 286 if you want to grab one of your um, hymnals um, that are in the pews and, and to join with us. So let's just spend a moment of quiet and we'll prepare ourselves as we enter in and hear those bells ringing and that, uh, that hopefully the Spirit uh, of God will echo in our hearts as we ready ourselves to begin. Well, these 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you, and I am I, yet we are truly one, one with Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Verse 1. At the cross her station keeping, Mary stood in sorrow weeping. When her son was crucified. The first station. Jesus is condemned. In Pilate's hands, my other self, I see my father's will. Though Pilate is unjust, he is the lawful governor, and he has power over me. And so the Son of God obeys. If I can bow to Pilate's rule because this is my Father's will, can you refuse obedience to those whom I place over you? My 
at Jesus, my Lord, obedient cost on your life. For me, it costs an act of will, no more, and yet how hard it is for me to bend. Remove the blinders from my eyes, and I may see as you more far my way in all who govern me. Lord, it is you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Verse 2. While she waited in her anguish, seeing Christ in torment languish, bitter sorrow pierced her heart. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my Father has chosen for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life, and yet my Father chose them too for you. Receive them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. My, my Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord, I take I my cross. I will open the monotony, monotony that often marks my day. Discomforts of all kinds, the summer's heat, the winter's cold, my disappointments, tensions, cares. Remind me often that in carrying my cross, I carry yours with you, and though I bear a sliver only of your cross, you carry all of mine, except a sliver in return. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With what pain and desolation, with what noble resignation, Mary watched her dying son. The third station, Jesus falls. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence by his will alone become, became a man too weak to bear a piece of timber's weight. How human in his weakness is the Son of God. My Father willed it thus. I could not be your model otherwise. If you would be my other self, you also must accept without complaint, your human frailties. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weakness, my irritations and my moods, my headaches and fatigue, all my defects of body, mind and soul. Because they are your will for me, these handicaps of my humanity, I gladly suffer them. Make me content with all my contents. May you give me strength to struggle after you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Number four. Ever patient in her yearning, Though her tear-filled eyes were burning, Mary gazed upon her son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. My mother sees me whipped. She sees me kicked and driven like a beast. She counts my every wound. But though her soul cries out in agony, no protest or complaint escapes her lips. 
or even enters her thoughts. She shares my martyrdom, and I share hers. We hide no pain, no sorrow from each other's eyes. This is my Father's will. My Lord Jesus, I know what you are telling me. To watch the pain of those we love is harder than to bear our own. To carry my cross after you, I too must stand and watch the sufferings of my dear ones, the heartaches, sicknesses, and grief of those I love. And I must let them watch mine too. I do believe for those who love you, all things work together unto good. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Number five. Who that sorrow contemplating on that passion meditating would not share the virgin's grief. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus. My strength is gone. I can no longer bear the cross alone. And so, the legionnaires make Simon give me aid. This Simon is like you, my other self. Give me your strength. Each time you lift some burden from another's back, you lift as with your very hand the cross's awful weight that crushes me. Lord, make me realize that every time I wipe a dish, pick up an object off the floor, assist a child in some small way, or give another preference in traffic or the store, each time I feed the hungry, clothe the naked, teach the ignorant, or lend my hand in any way, it matters not to whom. My name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them I really give to you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because okay, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Number six. Christ, the saw for our salvation, scourged with cruel acclamation, bruised and beaten by the rod. The sixth station, Veronica helps Jesus. Can you be brave enough, my other self, to wipe my bloody face? Where's my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears. At work, when tensions rise. On playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails. Wherever suffering exists, my faith, face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Lord, what you ask is hard. It calls for courage and self-sacrifice, and I am weak. Please give me strength. Don't let me run away because of fear. Lord, live in me, act in me, love in me, and not in me alone, in all of us, so that we may reveal no more your bloody but your glorious face on earth. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Number seven. Christ, she saw with life blood failing, all her anguish unavailing, saw him breathe his very last. 
the seventh station, Jesus falls again. This seventh step, my other self, is one that tests your will. From this fall, learn to persevere in doing good. The time will come when all your efforts seem to fail, and you will think, I can't go on. Then turn to me, my heavy laden one, and I will give you rest. Trust me and carry on. Give me your courage, Lord. When failure presses heavily on me and I am desolate, stretch out your hand to lift me up. I know I must not cease, but persevere in doing good. But help me, Lord. Alone there is nothing I can do. With you I can do anything you ask. I will. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your, by your holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Number eight. Mary, fount of love's devotion, let me share with true emotion all the sorrow you and you The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women. How often had I longed to take the children of Jerusalem and gather them to me, but they refused. But now these women weep for me, and my heart mourns for them, mourns for their sorrows that will come. I comfort those who seek to solace me. How gentle can you be, my other self? How kind. My Jesus, your compassion in your passion is beyond compare. Lord, teach me, help me learn. When I would snap at those who hurt me with their ridicule, those who misunderstand, or hinder me with some misguided helpfulness, those who intrude upon my privacy, then help me curb my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Number nine. Virgin ever interceding, hear me in my fervent pleading. Fire me with your love of Christ. The ninth station, the third fall, completely drained of strength. I lay collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move. No blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet, my will is mine. So is yours. Know this, my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth or in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. My Lord, I see you take a moment's rest, then rise and stagger on. So I can too, because my will is mine. When all my strength is gone, and guilt and self-reproach press me to earth and seem to hold me fast, Protect me from the sin of Judas. Save me from despair. Lord, never let me feel that any sin of mine is greater than your love. No matter what my past has been, I can begin anew. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, 
because, because by your, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Number 10. Mother, may this prayer be granted that Christ's love may be implanted in the depth of my poor soul. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures, I stand stripped. The cross, my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet, who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I won all, my Father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I offer you my all, whatever I possess, and more, myself. Detach me from the craving for prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all trace of envy of my neighbor, who has more than I. Release me from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself, and lead me to the lowest place. May I be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Number 11. At the cross, your, your sorrow sharing, all your grief and torment bearing, let me stand and mourn with you. The eleventh station. Jesus is crucified. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through. And pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other and agony again explodes. Then, raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast, too. My God, I look at you and think, is my soul worth this much? What can I give you in return? I hear and now accept for all my life whatever sickness torment, agony may come. To every cross I touch my lips. O blessed cross that lets me be with you a co-redeemer of humanity. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Number 12. Fairest maid of all creation, queen of hope and consolation, let me feel your grief sublime. The twelfth station, Jesus dies. The cross becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. This is your mother. There, your son. 
I thirst. It is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet. Every move engulfs me in new waves of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, have emptied my humanity, I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pains, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single instant would I lengthen my life span. I offer you my death for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God, my God, forsake us not. We know not what we do. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Number 13. Virgin, in your love befriend me, at the judgment day defend me. Help me by your constant prayer. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete. But not my mother's and not yours, my other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. In your bereavements, think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, Help me accept the partings that must come from friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones, when you shall call them to yourself. Then give me grace to say, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home, I bow to your most holy will, and if by just one word I might restore their lives against your will, I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Number 14. Savior, when my life shall leave me, through your mother's prayers receive me with the fruits of victory. The 14th station. Jesus is buried. So ends my mortal life. But now, Another life begins for Mary, for Magdalene, for Peter, and for John, and you. My life's work is done. My work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out, from this time forth. Be my apostle, victim, saint. My Jesus, Lord, you know my spirit is willing as my flesh is weak. The teaching you could not impart, the sufferings you could not bear, the works of love you could not do in your short life on earth, let me impart and bear and do through you. But I am nothing, Lord. Help me. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
number 15. Let me to your love be taken, let my soul in death awaken to the joys of paradise. Well, I told you at the start, my other self, my life is not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it. The simple fiat, this is all it takes. A breathing in your ear. I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I am close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen, these are altars where you offer love and I am with you there. Take up your cross and with your life complete your way. So at this time, my friends, uh, Chris is going to uh, lead a, me into the chapel and we will retrieve the Eucharist. And then um, we will spend uh, just a, a short remaining time, we'll be right before seven, we will give you and bless you with the Eucharist. But I invite you to um, reflect on um, this gift, reflect on uh, maybe how the Lord spoke to you in a special way and what your Lent is meant to be so that not only your life might be richer, but others as well. Let us prepare. We are singing in number 7070, O Saving Victim. O Saving Victim, opening wide the gate of heaven to us below, our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise. Immortal God had one in three. O oh, grant us endless length of days when our true native land we see. You have given them bread from heaven, having all sweetness within it. Let us pray. O God, who in this wondrous sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, 
Grant us, we beseech you, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that they may perceive within us the effect of your redemption, who live and reign world without end.
number 72 in your green hymnals, 72. Tantum ergo. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere mucernui et anticum documentum no voce dat ritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectui. Genitori genitoque, lauset jubilatio, Salus hono virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, procedem ti aputroque, compassit laudatio. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of your kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Number 465, 465. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy 
Oh. 